How's it going guys? Back again with a new video. Very excited for today. Have some uh, new things to review. Uh, first up, uh, we got, well this isn't new, but this is part of the theme. So we have uh, First Canadian Shave Maximo. And it is a tallow and goat milk shaving soap. I'm also going to be re uh, using for the first time as well something, well I've used this soap before, but for the first time for me this are the Gillette Ruby Platinum Plus. So this is a discontinued blade. Uh, they don't make these anymore. I believe they stopped making them around like four or five years ago. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm excited to give them a try. Just get the brush ready. I already went ahead and put uh, the water from the soap, which I was just using to lift the soap up on my head. Get it going. No pre-shave today. I've been avoid using pre-shave a few days. Just try, a few shaves. Just trying to see, you know, if, if the if if the quality of the shave soap is good, then you don't really need a pre-shave, right? And and the prep is good. So my prep has been good. So you're gonna get started. So there it is. So this Maximo shaving soap, it has a really nice scent. It's kind of like a, a citrusy, like tobacco smoky scent. The smoky citrus. And like the citrus, it's kind of almost like a, like a, like a, like a, like a orange crust, like, like a pop. I don't know, like a, like a creamy orange. Yeah, so it's like a creamy, a creamy uh, tobacco kind of scent. Creamy orange tobacco. All right, let's start building the lather. All right, glad we're good where that is, very creamy. I noticed the soaps that have like goat's milk, things like that, so animal milks, they're really, really creamy, so yeah. So uh, let's go over the ingredient list. Hopefully it focuses. So we got stearic acid, beef tallow, aqua, goat's milk, potassium hydroxide, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, glycerin, Coconut oil, palm kernel oil, lanolin, shea butter, and lanolin. Natural and or artificial fragrance, sodium lactate, and dimethicol. So, very nice, very like, uh, some good ingredients there. I expect the shave to be, you know, silky and very moisturizing after the fact. For today's razor, we're going to go with the Lupo, Razor on Lupo. I got a new black one. The silver one is great, but like this razor is so good and I've been recommending it. I also recommend it to uh, Griminder, so hopefully when he watches it, he can comment and tell me what he thinks of uh, when he shaves with it. But this Lupo has been so good like, that I, I needed to get a second one. Just in case, like, I wanted a second one for like a travel razor. And just in case, like, these ever go to production or whatever, I wanted to have an extra one. So, yeah. So, got the fresh Gillette Ruby Platinum Blade in there. Platinum Plus. Let's go to town.
All right. Very slick, very smooth. The blade was, you know, as a for Russian Gillette blade made in the PPI factory, you know, very smooth. It probably, you know, I'll, we may have to shave a few more times, but I'll also give it this. The very first shave is very smooth, unlike like the Gillette Nisette and some, you know, the Nisette and which other one, the Menorah 2 had a little bit more bite on the first shave. This one, you know, very smooth from the get go. I can see why it had a lot of fans. I'll also see why they kind of discontinued it because it kind of has the same performance as the Gillette Platinum, so you know, makes sense. But yeah, let's go. Lather up for the second pass. Alright, second pass. All right, wow, yeah, extremely smooth, no irritation, super close. Wow, I wonder if I should even not use all of them, but the aftershave of music doesn't have alcohol in it, it does have witch hazel, so maybe I should just use it. But wow, extremely smooth. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna use it, just forget it. Yeah, I'm just gonna see how it goes next time. If I shave, if, it, if I have irritation or bumps after, we'll see, but. For now, wow, this is super smooth. All right, gonna wash up. All right, guys, yeah. So, goat's milk shaving soap <laughs> is amazing. Very nice. Oh, yeah, so smooth. The blade too, the Gillette Ruby Platinum is just very smooth. Platinums, you know, I, you know what? People told me beforehand that the Ruby Platinums are better than the Platinums. And I may have to agree after one shave. <laughs> Maybe it's the whole combination of the, the the soap, the prep, everything. But this is very, very close and effortlessly. I like barely had to work for that. All right. So for the aftershave, we got the Maximo Gomez, also by First Canadian. I don't know if this is the like they, they both say Maximo, right? This is Maximo. This is Maximo. But like I don't know. This is Maximo Gomez. Maybe it's a different line, but. Uh, in terms of the ingredients, this does have not alcohol free, so let's see if it goes closer there. So we have distilled witch hazel, aloe vera juice, glycerin, distilled water, natural and artif artificial fragrance, and polysilverate. And let's then shake it up just to make sure. And it has a nice, that nice like citrus. Well, I guess it probably isn't a matching because it has the nice citrus, smoky, uh, creamy kind of. Uh, scent the consistency too i don't know if you can see from here but like uh let me see if i can put in the light but i don't know maybe not but it, it's yeah there it goes it's kind of creamy it kind of has like a milky consistency oh yeah and even in my hand it's like a like a cream almost i'm not sure if it will show if i was spilling but yeah oh yeah i just spilled it off <laughs> let me get some more then Clean this up too. 
Holy cow. All right. So great shave. Uh, glad to be making videos again. We'll be making them soon. Uh, some more. I kind of slowed down. The, the views kind of slowed down. I, I noticed like people, friends and family, some of them just not replying to me anymore. So don't want to annoy people anymore. But, you know, I feel like when, I, when it comes to like a new product, like the Gillette Ruby Platinum, so that, you know, or discontinued, I got my hands on some, I had to make a video, right? So the few of you that keep watching, I love you guys. I'll be back in a week or so, hopefully. Take care.